Okay. I'm getting excited. I think it's working. Finally. I don't know how it's taken so long to get to this. Many other people have been able to do this so much quicker and easier. Run. See what all the default stuff will do. And hopefully this just works. This is, this is using Duster through, was it Pinocchio? I don't know why, but my computer just really didn't want it to work or run. I tried to run everything manually and do it myself. And I think that's just caused the right files to be installed and downloaded. And now it's just working fine, apparently. I don't have the, uh... oh, oh, I don't even notice. It's actually, is that already, is it already done? Oh my, this is quite terrible. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I'm not in there. So Point Cloud looks kind of cleaner. Oh, it's really hard to see, I guess. Um, mask the sky. Let's see how this looks. Okay. This is terrible. This is the conclusion of, <laughs> oh man, this is the conclusion of weeks of testing and trying things out and getting it wrong. Um, okay, let's see what happens if we add in a ton more images, a higher resolution on more angles. Let's run that. And this is going real quick actually. Okay, so it's checking each individual image. Oh, so these are the old ones. So yeah, looks like shit. Looks like shit. These are all terrible. Let's see what the new stuff looks like though. So I'd say this is, wait a minute. Oh no, it is using my GPU in the 3D scene um, processor. So if I had a more powerful processor because I'm throwing in some pretty high res images. Oh, here we go, here we go. Um, let's just have a quick scroll down. So these are all set to as a low res image, which is kind of annoying because I gave it uh, some very high resolution images. So let's just see. Whoa, 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 settle down here, settle down. Maybe some of these images were, ah, no, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna start increasing numbers. Which has actually automatically started uh, further processing. So, yeah, they're all really re low res still. Oh, she's chugging. So it's really not able to do much about the back of the camera, even though there are angles where it has uh, some view of it. Let's see, clean up depth map. Let's, what if I just take that off? Don't clean that up. Oh. Okay, yeah, definitely want to clean it up. And let's just turn up this. I'm just gonna turn up values, which is probably gonna increase rendering time, but that's fine. A lot is obviously going on. So um, if I manage to get better results, I might update you. But otherwise, just assume, oh, things are not working. <laughs> So from these few photos, I've, I guess, generated a 3D scene. And that's about as good as it's gonna get, apparently. I have spent the last too many hours tuning and, and fiddling with all the settings and stuff. I mean, the only other thing I can do really is um, train my own model of this. I'd really rather not go to all the crazy effort of uh, training a model for it, just for a quick test sort of thing. But I will say that is not the uh, output quality I was hoping for. It's at least done for today. Uh, I'm going to quickly go and add some code that I worked on 
uh, last night mm -hmm. and this morning to the the uh, remote control mobility scooter thing that I'm working on. I don't even know what to call it actually, if, if I'm entirely honest. Technically it, it, it was a remote control mobility scooter and technically it still is a remote control mobility scooter. But in saying that, it no longer has any form of manual steering. Back into the dungeon. All right, so I've updated the code. Uh, I worked on it a little bit last night after dinner, while I was cooking dinner. What I've done is I've moved the process that's handling the steering and keeping the wheels straight out of this little loop that it was stuck in before. And um, what that's done is it's going to allow the steering process to actually keep track of the steering and adjust it as you're moving along rather than only when the controller is giving the main control module an input which will drastically increase controllability of this thing. No, my multimeter has gone flat. Ugh. I'm gonna go inside and change out the battery. New batteries in the multimeter, and now I will turn this circuit on. I'm hoping I don't need the laptop for this part of testing. Nothing there. That's weird. Yeah, so, no steering input. But that's okay, that just tells me exactly what I need to uh, chuck some serial code and stuff on. Firstly, I need to chuck some serial code on the steering control system code because, um... <laughs> um <laughs> I'm gonna fix that. I've actually already still got some code running. Okay, so nothing is triggering that code though. Why did I think this was going to be a quick little update the code and everything works fine straight off the bat? It's never like that. Why could I think it would be? Now, one annoying thing about the code and stuff that I've written and gotten running here, it's been built and crafted around a couple of issues I had early on and those issues are stopping me from being able to make more redefined clearer just better code overall because I'm still held back by these restrictions and without essentially pulling all the code apart and pulling a lot of stuff here apart I can't get rid of that thing holding me back and it's 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 starting to get annoying it's caused a lot of issues and I've had to do a few workarounds right let's see okay already got that value that's right yeah hey <laughs> let's just move the laptop out of the way no, there's no good place. Oh well. Okay, okay. So it seems that the steering system is working now. Continuously being called. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So I've managed to get the steering function to be running all of the time. Turns out I had put a call function in the wrong spot. I just needed to move it down a couple of lines, which is sometimes very difficult to tell. <laughs> oh, I need a way that uh, quickly gets that out of there if it is not set. <laughs> Right, this is going to be its first test drive, its first real test drive with this actual working code. All the other things, it's just been 
Oh, no, pro preliminary, so we'll give her it is. I just, uh, finally, 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 you know where. Let's see, reverse. See it first. Okay, now I'm gonna film the little TikTok bit and tell them that they saw it first. Finally, it's time for the actual first test. I probably should have thought about it before I just started driving around and going over all the big bumps. Because nothing is tied down. It's fine. I mean, it's all technically fine. Brakes are part of the future upgrade. <laughs> what a horrible noise. Oh, I didn't see I'd left that recording. So I've just got the hot glue gun heating up and I'm gonna use that to lock in some things because I've got physical things with settings on them, specifically a potentiometer. For the most part, all the programming is done. It can drive around and stuff just fine. There is some fine tuning that I sort of do need to do. I need to put some expo on the trigger just so that it's, you know, so that it feels like you've got a little more control and it's not just from zero to a hundred. Here I ended up spending the rest of the day shaping and moulding a bit of plexiglass. This is going to be the ground and also the part that stops any mud getting flicked up onto you by the front wheels. As well as doing some voiceover work. I thought I'd show you the extent of the damage. I, uh, I was playing around with it today. You know, it's working and stuff, and I showed it off to my granddad. And then I crashed it. I snapped off this front plastic bit, so now I've got this big gap where there was meant to be plastic. It's no longer plastic. I mean, it comes back kind of far to the top of this, so I'm basically thinking I'm gonna have to cut it straight across there. And now I gotta figure out something else here. Maybe I could put like a, like some sort of basket thing there. So like you put your stuff in there, put your backpack in there or whatever. The main goal with this project is to make it as easy as possible to be able to just pick up this controller and drive this thing around. No confusing stuff. And considering my granddad was able to just pick it up and drive it was a good reflection of how easy it is to use. But that being said, I do need to break open the brains of it all because I... I hot glued it shut. I don't know what I was thinking. So I need to open this up and I'm going to add in some exponential to the throttle and the steering just to make the controls a little more 
natural. Right now they are very, very fine, careful on the trigger sort of controls. So I need to just fine tune that a little bit. And uh, I think from there, I'm pretty much just gonna close everything up and gonna be done. I spent a good chunk of time working on some of the code and adding in some little refinements just to make things operate and feel a lot better. Then I needed to install the charging port as well as wire that up. So I cut a little hole at the back and inserted the port there. So that's this project pretty much done. I mean there's not really much more I can do with it. At least, there's not really much more I want to do with this project. It's taken up a lot of time as it is. I think, um, i just do that last little bit and then this will be put on hold until I want to actually work on it again. Most of my projects are on hold actually. <laughs> I'm just getting ready for work, got the water in my bag, but also I'm quickly jumping on my computer so that I can edit some of the video. So initially this whole project here was just the vlog number three, but as you may have seen, vlog number three has since just turned into a commentary of some sped up footage, um, just explaining why I've skipped it, skipped over it essentially. And so now I'm working on number four. And I am <laughs> that much through it. I've got that much to go. <sighs> Who knows how long it's gonna be. I mean, you do, cause you could do, cause uh, it's already out. This clip is more to see how my phone camera performs at night. And there's a bit of background noise and stuff, some light wind, quite a strong wind from behind. If yes, this is still clear. Oh, someone's smoking. Uh, yeah. 